Welcome to Optimal Anesthesia, where we explore the fascinating world of anesthesia and its applications in perioperative care. In today's episode, we'll be diving into 3rd Newton's laws of motion and how they relate to anesthesia. Specifically, we'll be looking at how the law impacts patient care in the perioperative period. Let's get started. Imagine you're in the operating room, preparing to intubate a patient. As you inflate the cuff of the endotracheal tube, you're applying pressure against the tracheal wall to secure the tube. According to Newton's third law, for every action, there is an equal and opposite reaction. In this case, the tracheal wall exerts an equal and opposite force against the cuff, ensuring a secure seal without damaging the tracheal wall. Anesthesiologists monitor cuff pressure to ensure effective airway sealing without tracheal injury, aligning with Newton's action-reaction principle. Now, let's talk about mechanical ventilation. When the ventilator delivers positive pressure to inflate the patient's lungs, the lungs exert an equal and opposite force against the ventilator. This interaction allows the ventilator to deliver air into the lungs, aiding in breathing and maintaining oxygenation. Intravenous medication administration is another area where Newton's third law comes into play. When anesthesiologists administer medication through and for, they apply force to push the medication into the bloodstream. The vein wall then exerts an equal and opposite force against the medication, ensuring effective delivery without causing damage to the vein. Newton's laws of motion are fundamental principles that impact various aspects of anesthesia. By understanding how the third law apply to patient care, equipment design, and airway management, anesthesiologists can provide safer and more effective care for their patients. Thank you for listening to this episode of Optimal Anesthesia. Stay tuned for more fascinating insights into the world of anesthesia.